welcome back. This is Sarah. Today, we're going to be making some bubble gum with this double bubble bubble gum factory set. Now, this set is actually a re-release. This is the new improved version, I guess. The previous version was from 2002. I found this at my local Toys R Us for $15. Now with this machine, we're going to be making some delicious bubble gum. I love double bubble bubble gum. See that three times fast. It is just so delicious. I cannot wait. So here's what comes inside of the box. Here is the bubble gum maker. Now if you notice, it looks a little plain, but good thing we have these stickers. So let's put a sticker right here. And put another sticker right here. Here's a little sticker to identify the power light. Here's another sticker. We'll put this right here. How about this other sticker right over here? And lastly, we'll put the gigantic double bubble sticker right over here. Okay, that looks way cuter. Also inside the box is this packet of gum powder. This is a little cup holder. And with the cup holder comes with a bunch of aluminum cups. This is a little mixing tool. A pipette to add some water with. I'm really excited about these. These are the actual double bubble wrappers and they have that waxy coating to them. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. And lastly, here are some instructions on how to use our bubble gum factory and how to make our gum. All right guys, let's get started. I'm really excited to make some bubble gum. Now before we get started, I do wanna let you guys know that this maker does need four D-sized batteries, which I've already put inside of the machine. And I just went out to buy a new package since I didn't have any in my drawer. So hopefully this is gonna work out just great. We are gonna need a little water to make the gum. First, I'm gonna insert one of the aluminum cups into the aluminum cup holder, just like this. Now I'm gonna put four teaspoons of the gum powder into our aluminum cup. Here is one two, three, and four. Now using my pipette, I'm going to add 1.5 milliliters of water to our gum powder. Now this is gonna go into our bubble gum factory over here on the left side. Whoops, I think this little <laughs> aluminum thing is getting in the way. There we go. Now we take the handle and we slide it all the way over to the right. Perfect. Now this lever goes all the way towards me. There we go, it should be in place. Feels pretty good. Everything looks okay, doesn't it? Hmm, you know what, the power light's not on. The light here should be on. Hmm, I hope that's not a bad sign of what's to come. Okay, now the bubble gum is supposed to heat up from the maker, and then we just have to keep mixing it until it turns into gum. So, I guess we'll just keep mixing for about 10 minutes and wait for our gum to heat up. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Now I'm not quite sure why our gum looks like it's the same. I'm worried that the machine is not really working properly. Let me go ahead and take it out. Now if it's working, the bottom of the cup should be hot and it is freezing cold. Oh no, so our maker is not working. And I'm not even quite sure why, because I put in fresh batteries and everything looks like it's okay. However, I really want some gum. So you know what? I'm gonna come up with an alternative. I'm going to empty all of this into a bowl and then put this in a microwave for a few seconds to heat it up. 
So here's what it looks like after about 10 seconds of time in the microwave. Ooh, now we're starting to get some wear. Okay, I put it in the microwave for just about eight seconds more and look at this, you guys. It's starting to look sticky like gum. Okay, now I guess at this point, it's still a little warm, which is good, but we're going to shape it into a piece of gum so that we can wrap it. I'm surprised how not sticky this is on my fingers. All right, I have here a wrapper. We'll just put it right into the wrapper. This kind of looks like the real thing. It's kind of a weird oblong shape. That's probably good enough. And now we'll just wrap it. And we just have to twist the ends so that it doesn't fall out. Oh my gosh, this is turning out really cute. Hey, this looks like the real thing. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Too bad the maker didn't work. All right, now I'm gonna grab this other piece and I'm going to chew it. After all, we need to taste it, don't we? Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is really good. Mmm. This tastes like the real thing. It's really super sweet. Oh my gosh, but it's really good. And this is super, super fresh bubblegum. Wow. The taste of this is excellent. I give it a thumbs up. Well, you guys, unfortunately, my maker was a complete fail. I just could not figure out how to get it to work or to heat up. But fortunately, I was able to make some from my microwave and it tasted delicious. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today. If you haven't seen my other food maker sets, you should definitely check out those videos. And thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video.